Hey guys, what is up? This is Grow Every Day. A lot of you are asking me how I find my graphics cards. Well, here is one way. On Best Buy in Canada, I'm pretty sure it's the same in USA, they do this here. If you go to their website, their blog, Best Buy NVIDIA, you got this. They update this. So this is actually from the October 27 drop. Shows you which stores are going to be having cards on October 27. So it's like every two or three weeks they do a drop. So you just keep checking here. The day before, they will post when they are going to be new cards. You just line up and you can get a card. I managed to get a 3090 last time. The time before that, I got a 3070 LHR. The time before that, I didn't get anything because the line was unreal. And then the time before that, I got a 3080 Ti. So you got pretty good odds of, of getting something. It's not too hard. I don't line up crazy early i'll go a couple hours early but there's people who show up the day before here is another way on kijiji in canada i think it's probably like craigslist in usa i don't know what your country has but just local buy and sell i look for certain cards so for here i'll be like 2070 super i cannot type today 2070 super because i know that that's a good one no 2070 supers and British Columbia, so your 2070s. So, like, I know that a 2070 is a card that I can get a pretty good price on for fairly cheap, and I will just do this every day. So, here's some 1080 Ti's, 800. That's too much. I'd spend like 650, 700. So, what you need to do is you need to memorize every single card out there. You know. 10 series cards, 20 series, 1660s, all the 30 series, all the AMD cards. You need to memorize what the card is, what kind of hash rate it will do, um, what you're willing to pay for it, what MSRP is, so that you know if you see a price that you can, what you want to offer for it. If it's you know if it's too much money, if it's a good price, like look at this, 1660 Ti, $800 in Kamloops. Wow, yeah, nice. That's uh, more than two times MSRP on a card that'll do like 31 mega hash. That is bonkers. No thank you. So you can like this 1660 Ti soup or a super in Canada. You can get these cards all day long, 550 to $600 on Kijiji. Just keep your eye open for them. If you want to pay less than that, you might be able to find some. You might not. Just search all the time. Look for cards on here. Every single day, two times a day, three times a day. Have your search terms, look for stuff. $3,600 for $3,090. That's mental. Selling between $3,500 to $4,000? I don't think so. Put on eBay. Sure, maybe on eBay. I don't know. I would never buy a card off of eBay. Whew, is this crazy? $3,900? This is a card I just got for I think 2160 all in Canadian and these guys want 3500 to 4000 3900 dollars for it yeah I don't think so that's insane absolutely insane so what's another good card 6700 XT that's a good card I've had luck getting for good prices there aren't any what if we check out Alberta there you go 6700 So 1400 I don't think so. You can get these for under $1,000 Canadian. I've gotten several used for under $1,000. Just keep looking, guys. There's deals to be had out there. That's why you have to know what the prices are. You have to know what you're willing to spend. You have to know what the hash rate is. So here you go. Here's Calgary. 625 each OBO. So there you go. This guy, uh, you might be able to get these for 550 He said he's got two of them. That's a that's not a terrible price. That Zotac, I'm not sure how those measure up compared to like an MSI, but an MSI new costs about this much money. So this is like MSRP on an MSI 1660. So you know if you can get these for 550 from this guy, you're looking at under some particular brand's MSRP. So you know there's some deals to be had. So. So there you go. If you live in uh, Okotoks, Alberta, send Kyle a message and you might be able to get these things for like 550 bucks. There you go. There you go, Kyle. Get your cards sold.
What else do we got on here? Uh, another thing to check for, here's what I like to do. You could type in uh, gaming PC. So here's a gaming PC with a 3080, a little expensive. So I've gotten gaming PCs with a AMD 5700. I've gotten some 1070 full builds. I got some old full builds with some like really old cards, but then you get a motherboard and a whole bunch of stuff for cheap. You can do this, and this is a good way to get cards. So this has got a 2070 Super plus a whole thing. So you'd have to look this up. It's got an AMD, 16 gigs. You might be able to split that off into like two rigs, depending on how he has that. 750 watt gold. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, mini ITX. So there's an issue right there. Usually the mini ITX boards aren't as good. But you might be able to do some splitters on there. I don't know. You got to do some research. So you look here, 1650. It's got a card that's I'd be willing to spend about, you know, 800 Canadian maybe on a 2070 Super. So if you can get this down a bit, we'll say you'd be spending $800 on the card, $800 on the components. That's a, that's a lot. I wouldn't do that. But the point is, if you look for game, full gaming PCs, you can build an entire rig out of it. Plus, it can come with a card. You know, it might be worth it. That's something to look into. So that's for that. Here's another thing you can do. Just go on Google Maps and type on type in computer store or computer repair store or something like that. This is all Canada computers. I don't know. Mike's computer shop. You want to be, you want to look for for a small computer repair store. Little guys who might be able to get some cards in. So here you go. Laptop computers, New West laptop, PowerSonic computers, Computer Express repair, Black Lab computers. So if you live in Vancouver, go into these stores and talk to all of these guys. Tech Express, it's the same for every city. Go in talk to all these guys lots of them are able to get cards and I found lots of little cities it might not be the most desirable card but a lot of these guys say yeah you know I can get my hands on two or three of these things talk to them they might be able to get some cards in for you you'll be paying more than you would for somewhere like a Best Buy drop here because these are straight up MSRP but you can only buy one of them and you can only get one every like three weeks by standing in line or you could talk to these guys and they might be able to get, you know, two, three, four cards in. You'll be spending maybe 10% over MSRP, so it's not terrible. And it's significantly cheaper than scalper prices. And then you're helping out a small local business, you know. That guy's probably got a family. He's got to go home and feed. So it's good to support those guys. That's kind of what I'm doing to, to figure out what to do for uh, cards. So here you go whatever this city is, you just do this. There you go. Reeve Tech Services. What's this? Power Source Computers, CompuMan, Computer Remedies, Computer Express Care, OnState Computers. Look at that. All of these guys are probably going to have contracts with direct sell vendors and they can get cards in for you. So if you don't own a business where you can't order, you know, straight from the manufacturer, talk to these guys. These guys can all get stuff in direct from the manufacturer. Another place that I go to is, in Canada anyways, Memory Express. They're all over the country. They do not update their website anymore. Here's Memory Express, computer hardware. Let's just see here. Video cards. GeForce. You just pick the cars that you like. 2060s on their website. Interesting. 1660 Supers. In store only. But if you click on them, select a region. See? Out of stock everywhere. But if you go into the store, they won't have any of these. We'll just. Oh, come on, computer. Select none. 3090s, 3080Ti's. These are on the shelf fairly often. So we'll take like these guys, for instance. Gigabyte Vision. These guys are very often on the shelf. Every time I go in there, I usually see some of these. Select a region. Here you go. Everybody, Ontario. If you're in Ottawa, there you go. They updated their stock. Ottawa, Ontario. You got three of these in stock. 
everywhere else, Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Ontario, Saskatchewan, all out of stock except for Ottawa. But I can almost guarantee you if you go into some of these stores, they are probably going to have these on the shelf. I don't think that they're updating their stock. A lot of times they have 3080 Ti's and 3090's. They're not the super cheap ones, but they'll be there. Often I see these Gigabyte ones on the shelf and Zotac. I see a lot of Zotac on there. Like this guy, very often. So this is 3080 Ti 2260. So that is an expensive card. This is Canadian prices, by the way. So if you're looking at this in the USA, that is not US dollars. Ontario. Let's see, there you go. Ottawa. Ottawa must have a whole lot of cards in stock. Ottawa, London, they got some in stock. So if it says they might actually be updating their store, but a lot of these other guys don't. And you have to go in and see them on the shelf. Would I spend that much money on a 3080 Ti? No, I would not. Would I spend $2,020 on one? Yes, I probably would. So it all depends on what you want to get. Looking for the Zotac. Let's, here you go, Zotac. Oh, look at that. They don't even list the Zotac 3090 on their own webpage. So the Zotac 3090 isn't even on the Memory Express webpage, but that very often is in the store. Interesting. Look at that. Doesn't even show up on their website, but they carry this card. So there you go. That's one card that will never show up online that very often is on the shelf. I think it goes for about $2,500, $2,600. But if you look, guys want like $3,500, $4,000 for these things used. Yeah, I'd probably get some more 3090s at that price. I'm enjoying those 3090s. So that's kind of what I'm doing to find cards. It's a lot of work. If you you'd like, you got to check. You got to pound that pavement. You got to be hounding these guys. You got to go into the stores all the time. It's not, it's like a full time job trying to find cards at the consumer level. So if you're wondering how a lot of these guys, myself included, end up with so many cards, this is how you're spending a lot of time looking for cards. We're not just, oh, I went into the store once. I couldn't find this card. There are no cards to be had. Boo hoo. No, that's not what we're doing. We're keeping at it. You get into those stores, you're checking the shelves, you're calling around. You're checking, uh, what's it, Craigslist in USA, Kijiji in Canada. You know, forget eBay. It's eBay's, eBay's trash. People are selling stuff for insane prices on there. Ignore that. I want your cards, Kyle, but not for six twenty-five. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep at it every day, multiple times a day. You know, you got some free time. You got these apps on your phone. Just, just search them. Pretty sure on Kijiji you can send alerts, so if new cards pop up, you could do that. I personally don't do that, but it probably wouldn't hurt to do it. And that is what you do. That's a tip to get that. If you're doing this, you're checking very frequently, I guarantee you, you're going to find cards every month. Maybe not every week, maybe not every other week, but every now and then you'll get a score. You'll be able to pick up maybe three at a time, one here and there. That's how you get more cards. So I hope this helped somebody. Hope you can start to find some cards out there. There are deals to be had, but you have to have cash in hand and you have to be willing to go get them like this second. We'll just say this happened to be a good card, a good deal. You need to tell the guy, can I come get this right now? I have cash. I want to get it. Because if there's a good deal and you found it very quickly, someone else is going to find it as well and they're going to jump on it if you don't. So go get those good deals. Don't go get the bad deals. Don't encourage these crazy scalpers. But, you know, if a guy's selling something for a good price, maybe a used product or something like that, whatever, you can get it. Don't support the scalpers. Get good deals. There you go. Hope this helps somebody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs up anyways and help me out. I'm still new to this YouTube thing, and I am enjoying it. I'm having lots of fun. A little, some fun thing that's going to happen, as much as I rag on eBay, I just made a pretty cool purchase off of there. It should hopefully be showing up next week. I will be sure to show you guys as soon as I see that. Thanks for watching. I will talk with you guys later. Peace out.